Marine Week gives the American public an up-close look at the men, women, and equipment of the Marine Corps. Today in St. Louis is no different. All hell's gonna break loose over the Mississippi River. Lewis and Clark, uh, in their deepest, darkest fantasy, had a dream of doing this, but they didn't quite do it right because they did not have Marine reconnaissance in the lead, nor did they have Amtraks or Harriers or Ospreys or any of the stuff that we have. We're gonna show these fine people in St. Louis today. Go! That means a demonstration. <laughs> With thousands of onlookers watching the Marine Air Ground Task Force. Up close, in action, first hand. You know, just a, a beautiful day and, and seeing all the equipment flying around and seeing it in a really cool setting like, you know, the Gateway Arch Grounds. Like that was probably what was most awesome. Starting off in Chicago, moving on to Boston, and now here this year in St. Louis, the scenery of Marine Week is constantly changing. But there's one part that always stays the same. All the Marines all around, everywhere you go, ooh rah, ooh rah, ooh rah, you know, the whole bit is wonderful, yeah. Well, you know what, I think it's very impressive. I, I mean, everyone appreciates what you guys do, and then just see it firsthand and have the kids interacting is really neat. The demo itself is just one facet of Marine Week. It's also one of the greatest examples of Marine Corps capability. And so all of the parts of the MAGTAF had to come together to do this. And because we do it every day, we could do it. And it demonstrates that not only could we do it in St. Louis, but we can do it in far off distant lanes. Far away, here at home, and in any climb and place, there's no doubt the Marine Corps knows how to put on a show. For Marine Week St. Louis, I'm Sergeant Todd Hunter.